This is the talk headlines for Frico Talks the News on Thursday, May 14th, 2020. Today's top headline, Z out of U.S. power. Dare I say it? I'm going to say it. I'm going for the camp, ladies and gentlemen. Literally! <laughs> I felt good to say. I don't care what you say. And this is an excerpt from voanews.com. Voanews.com is an American propaganda outfit. And it is a very specific, because American, when you say American, you really can't say American. You have to have a qualifier, a hyphen to it. <clears throat> no, I don't mean Pacific Asian American hyphen or something like that. No, the hyphen is a factional hyphen. I don't know that these factions have names. You use various names to describe whatever. And sometimes you, you might not even be working for the faction that you think you are. So there's all kinds of confusions there. But it, but in general, VOA News represents the, 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 the do-anything-to-get-rid-of-Trump kind of faction, in my assessment. I won't say, yes, they definitely do, but they're kind of in that. They belong to that faction. Everybody calls things the deep state. There is no deep state. It's just at various times throughout human history, these things that we call governments have had factions that have, I guess you could say, caramelized around one another internally and then sought to use the structures of governance as weapons against one another's factions. And the more power that they have to take from the land around them and concentrate in the hands of a few, the more bloodthirsty these types of contests tend to be. Most of the time... The hoi polloi don't even see it. There's it, the the ideal is if there's a struggle amongst the citadelians, you only see the ripples. But in this case, the struggle is I. This is my assessment, which I could be wrong. <clears throat> it could all be kabuki theater for I know. And it is possible. I think that's highly unlikely, but I have to allow for that possibility. Uh, but in general, my my assessment is that these factions are. Uh, I I will say that they represent real specific divisions within the citadelian structures of the entire world. And it all is stemmed around the fact that so much of it, at one point, <clears throat> until very recently, was primarily based for anyone outside of America. On... On, on the immediacy with which you could talk to the American president. That was your, that was the status symbol, I would say, for all folks outside of America to demonstrate that they're part of the world citadelian. Yep, you're in the club. Now, I don't mean that it's a cabal. It is what it is. It is the reality of power as you see structures sort things out over and over and over again never never exact they're not they're not mathematical precisions that you could right i don't know if it was club nikov or who it was uh i've never been able to find that reference again so i wonder if i made it up somebody please tell me i think it was club nikov the russian poet <coughs> folk futurist i guess i'll call him uh <coughs> from the early 1900s turn of the Findesiecle kind of period of time as they as we used to refer to it uh, back in the days. Uh, anyway, he, he thought he could write with mathematical precision the, all of history and then he could predict everything. And I don't think that, I don't think mathematical precision exists such as human beings understand it. Or will be capable of understanding probably for the next at minimal thousand years. But things could change. So I went on way too long with that. But I think that was an important point, all of which just to point out that VOA News, where it is in how you should understand what, what is being written here. And so why, well, I'll show you why it's important that, that if, if I'm right in my assessment, if you understand the faction that's writing this right now. See, folks, that's why you have the background music. So when 
when all of a sudden you're coughing uh, because why the heck is suddenly I'm my throat is incredibly dry and the world's coming to an end and you soldier on despite the flack and you do so because you know my background singer's got this if I fall down to there say hey man dead air ain't no thing dead air ain't no thing that's why you do this great secret <clears throat> also if you have any audio issues of any kind this background music really helps hide that that's another reason that's a pro tip for anyone thinking about doing shows podcasts and all that why to consider background music but also you want to bust it up you want to have some silent times too Well, that sucks. An executive order issued last week proposes to monitor and replace any U.S. power grid equipment made by the nation's foreign adversaries. Analysts said it would mean... Oh, this is from... Oh, I said VOA News. Oh, uh, yeah. I really said it. Animal, analysts said it would mainly affect Chinese-made products like electrical transformers. Hmm. President Donald Trump signed an executive order on May 1st prohibiting bulk power system equipment from foreign companies in the U.S. grid, citing security concerns. The U.S. State Department, Department of Energy noted that under the current rules, contracts are awarded to the lowest bidder when it comes to bulk power system procurement, and that creates a vulnerability that can be exploited by those with malicious intent. Yeah, should have never even considered this in the first place if you're a nation state. See, this is the other thing. This is... This is the difficult problem for the United States of America and how it treats China. Because China has already been doing to America what America has been doing to the rest of the world and is actually still continuing to do. So if the United States... So long as the United States continues to rely on this methodology of controlling the lives of other humans for the sake of our own profits, which is really what it comes down to. Well, in my assessment, you guys may have variable, varied opinions. Uh, China, the way that we re respond to China's colonialization of America, if you will, calls into question our own tactics, our own methodologies with a lot of other nation states that we're still relying on continuing to allow us to do to them what we don't want China to do to us. Now, I am 100% opposed to China being in a position, I'm in any nation state. We are in this nation state parameter my neighbors outnumber me 99 to 1 as far as the people i understand as far as i'm i'm just a i'm 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 just a dog trying to eat a bee that's what i am if i'm trying to 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 end the coercive enterprise governance models anytime soon so within that model i absolutely am opposed to my nation state allowing any nation states to having to, to being dependent on any nation state whatsoever. But I'm also fundamentally opposed to my nation state putting other nation states in that position as well. That's why I don't support a world currency anymore. I don't, well, well yeah, I guess I did for a long time. Because to me, U.S. currency, oh, well, of course it's the U.S. currency. I didn't even think of that, you know, because I'm an idiot. It took me a while. To, I don't know what it is. Well, I do know what it is. That's a long story in and of itself. But now I'm not for any world currency. I'm for, I'm for decentralized currencies, even within states themselves. So, I'm and I, as a matter of fact, I have more to say about that later on. Coincidentally enough, so as I'm reading this, this is of an article that is written very carefully. It, it expresses a fact. There are U.S. moves to pull Chinese equipment from its power grid. There are no emotional words in that sentence. <coughs> there are no value words whatsoever in that sentence. So this is a, a neutral, this is a neutral position. 
the neutral headline, which is not neutral in and of itself, especially if you're the voice of America. It's very telling. <coughs> and, and I'll tell you what. An executive order issued last week proposes to monitor and replace any U.S. power equipment made by the nation's foreign adversaries. Now, they chose to use a value word here. But it's interesting the value word that they use because it's a value word that's ultimately pointed back at the United States. Adversary has a negative connotation. And within, well, in this context, it's, it's, it's <laughs> the way that, that I think the way that many people will read this is this is kind of like xenophobic kind of, kind of foreign. And then the word foreign. Why did they say foreign <coughs> adversaries? Now, that's not a word in quotes. Is that a phrase that they use? Foreign adversaries? Did the United States write an order referring to China as an adversary? I doubt that. So now they've gone from a neutral to now here. This is almost, this is kind of like if China had written it. This is the way. This is this is this is an easy way to subliminally get in that any U.S. power. Let's let's see if we notice anything else as we go along here. And now these are just my uh, uh, interpretations, folks. So that's all they are. Remember that. Remember the opening of the show. So don't be upset if you're reading and you're like, how could he see it that way? Oh, like like I do. Analysts said it would mainly affect Chinese-made products like electrical transform. Okay, I don't care that. that. There's nothing in that system. Okay, they signed and they're prohibiting. Now, now here we have a different. This is. See now, this is what it's. This is probably closer to the language in the order. <laughs> signed an executive order. All right, let's hold on. Let's do this. Let's go visit. Let's go visit. Now, if they see adversaries here, uh-oh, you know what? I stand corrected. Look at that. There. Adversaries. So he actually used that word. So I, there you go. You watch this is live. So I made an assumption, which is what, what I do. I don't feel bad about having assumptions wrong. Um, and then I went out. Now, now we're back to, okay, now at this point, now this changes my assessment. By the way, this is, I'm analyzing propaganda. I'm showing you somewhat how you do it. Now that I have data that shows me this isn't their words, so they really should have put this in quotes here, I think. I definitely think they should have uh, put that in quotes to make that clear. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. But still, now we're back to, we're back to, to neutral again. Now this is, this is, this, this changes my perspective on, on, what it tells me as, as, as I see it back to neutral again. President Donald Trump signed an executive order on May 1st prohibiting bulk power system equipment from corn companies in the U.S. grid. Citing, okay, there's nothing there. Pretty new, neutral, neutral. Pretty neutral still. And that creates a vulnerability that can be exploited by those with malicious intent. Now, this is just very... I'm just not sure why they chose. This is now, now uh, I mean, I still want to talk more about the VOA, but this is interesting, though, that that they're using this type of language that that is, uh, you know what? I, I'll, I'm sure that I'll have stories that come along that will take me. I'm already 13 minutes into the headline, so I got to move on. Uh, I'm sure that will come up, though. I'm sure that I will have an opportunity to talk about the thought that was in my head. But I want to keep this on uh, the VOA. So on the VOA, we're back to, once again, this is neutral. So the only problem, man well, if I want to call it problem, the only thing that I would say that what I'm looking for from the VOA as, as one of these, what what's going on with the, 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 the out trump faction this is very carefully written and very neutrally written and it was not ultimately something that uh you could say on its surface is even pro united states though it's not it, it's not really necessary 
towing the United States party line the way that I read. It's pretty neutral. It's very, very neutral, which that might be what I see from the VOA. I've seen the headlines and I've seen what they've done and, and they don't really necessarily, they, they, they write with value added words constantly. They're, and, and most of what they put out there that's related to Donald is, is not overtly anti-Donald, but it's pretty close to it. It's like, you, you just can't have your own government propaganda machine, which is designed to put forth the American party line, not the Democrat or Republican party line, being a partisan going against the president of the United States. And that's what VOA has been doing. Now, whatever you think of Donald Trump, the nation state parameter that you're in is a Republican, uh, small r, nation state parameter if you want to support that type of thing happening you better support it when it's the other person's turn to have opportunity to do the same to you and i doubt you will but you'll you'll get it in return and this is just a breakdown of the republican system for those of you that wish for a republican system to be broken down i ask you what exactly do you plan on replacing it with i mean i got some non-coercive enterprise governance uh, ideas, but I don't think you want to hear those. So within the coercive enterprise governance models, what what do you people have that will replace it that you can actually get 90 plus of, of percent of the country to agree with? I, I tell you the truth, you can't. All of the major factions out there for their particular changes, I could tell you at least... 30, 40 percent of the country will violently oppose it. And when I say 40 percent of the country, I mean perhaps 60, 70, 80 percent of the assets and maybe maybe 60, 70 percent of the military assets. You're not in as 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 comfortable a reality of power, physical situation that you imagine you are if you think that you're actually going to destroy the Republican system and replace it with a, 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 a mob democracy, regulatory authoritarianism. That's your dream. No one's, well, I won't say no one, there's, there's a broad swath of human beings, including many people on the left, the American left, that will be violently opposed to your dreams. So I tell you, when I see this, this indicates to me at least one possibility if I look at something like this, what this propaganda tells me is that within the factions that there are at least some people in the VOA who are looking and saying, listen, man, whatever, you know, this guy really can, like, he can change stuff. People can lose jobs. Budgets can be cut. He can do stuff. And some of these guys, I think, maybe they're thinking, this guy's going to be here. He's going to be here a lot longer than we thought. So, uh, I don't know, man. So, that would tell me, if if I'm accurate in my assessment, and I'm using the little canary, the canary in the proverbial, quote-unquote, deep state coal mine tells me that there may be a shift within the bureaucratic tangle that uh, some of the purges are starting to have effects and some of the bureaucratic protections that people were relying on have disappeared and that maybe some people are reading the, the tea leaves. I'm not, not saying the tea leaves are accurate because they, they could see a shift, all kinds of things. It's, it's all in flux, so to speak, as far as these factions and the, the blood sport that's going on that you and I some of us are aware of, but, but very few people really are fully aware of what's going on. So, President Donald Trump signed an executive order on Murray first prohibiting bulk power system equipment. I'm not going to read the rest of this. I'm just going to I'm just going to touch on on a couple of these uh, lightly here because we're already at 19 minutes and it was worth it. Will forbearance tank the mortgage market? Potential wave of mortgage delinquencies this is from CNBC. Potential wave of mortgage delinquencies could bankrupt payment system. The Mortgage Bankers Association estimates that if about a quarter of all borrowers request and are granted loan forbearance for six months or longer, demands on services could exceed $75 billion and could climb well above $100 billion. 
that would easily bankrupt the mortgage finance system. The NBA sent a letter late Sunday to Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell and Treasury Secretary Steve Munchen asking for cash to support mortgage servicer servicers. So that is something to take a uh, watch. So all these things. I'm not going to say anything more about that right now, but uh, certainly I'm tr I'm tracking it. I'm tracking it, so I'll keep you posted as I see more things. This one's just a cute little thing. Bringing the force to the Navy. It's cute. It's whatever. Come on. Need a little bit. U.S. Navy might have robo-ships way too similar to Star Destroyers. This is from interestingengineering.com. An unmanned ship could easy, could sail the seas at any time of year, never to be slowed down by human illness or mishaps. Moreover, it could take over mundane yet necessary duties or extremely risky operations. The U.S. Navy has teamed up with Defense Advanced Research Projects Agencies, or DARPA, DARPA to put together a completely unmanned autonomous robotic, robotic ship concept, the NOMARS. No man, Rick. No manning. You know, you can't do this. And I'm actually for this. Like, I mean, no, don't get me wrong. I'm not I'm not all wiggled about it. But, like, I I would actually call this no personing required. I really would. Like, I am not against, like, I, 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 I think we should say no personing required ship. I like that. Because this manning really does continue to build these, I call heuristic institutions. So the heuristic institutions that manning does over and over again is that it, keeps establishing manning is that's got, got authority gravitas doing serious blowy uppy crappies and we zero in on a particular gender construct that we have man and i understand man traditionally it's human but i i don't not i'm not i'm not i'm not averse to seeing man not used to say humans or persons and uh, but i'm also not all really all that upset about it either i'm not sure anybody else should because i think in time this thing is it is going to be personing people and it's not going to be because the politically correct They're like hey man like we're just going to change this because it's kind of doesn't really it's just not going to fit that's the thing it's just not going to fit and i think for a lot of people it already doesn't fit but i'm cool with it slowly dying this this particular type of thing but I don't know why I went off on that little bit, but I thought that was a little bit of an opportunity to give. Well, because I know I say a lot about SJW authoritarianism, but I want to make it clear. I, I'm not talking about throwing the baby out with the bathwater. I, I have a lot of I other disagreements, even with consensual SJWs. But uh, but I definitely agree with them kind of on this. I'm just not agreeing with the militants that insist that this means everybody's horrible because they are so comfortable with this. I don't think it means you're horrible at all. Just what it is, man. All right. The concept shit sits low in the water and comes with a high mass to capture all communication and centers. As per the artist's illustration of no Mars, it would have four angled launchers for missiles, no windows, rails, or walkways. Well, of course not. Man, imagine that thing coming at you, man. man. You know what, man? I could probably get a video game. I could design something better than that. That's not even... That's not... Listen... I'm sorry. It does not look like a battleship. It is not. This is weak. I'm sorry. I, I reject your authority and I replace it with my own. And my authority says bull poopies. This looks more like uh Oh, man. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I don't know. It, it just seems like something that I would see in like a Darkwing Duck show. Darkwing Duck super duper boat spaceship everything thing like that darkwing duck would sit right in here and maybe here you see his head pop up that's what it'd be his giant head would be right here that's what i see see there's no gravitas to this thing it's now for me it just looks like it's too goofy it's just got a goofiness about it i'm sorry i'm sorry darkwing duck it's kind of that it's kind of that there you go. That's the end of this segment. We'll uh, we'll see you uh, with the next segment at uh, four thirty on the Action Bots YouTube channel. And if you're watching live, uh, yeah, you don't have to wait.